Hey yo, what it do baby, it's your boy Dynamic and today I want to talk about the new game mode and update in Black Ops 2. But just in case you guys are wondering the class setup that I'm using in this game, just look at the top right corner of your screen. Anyway, so there's a recent title update in Black Ops 2. It didn't really have any, any major gameplay additions except for a new game mode which is Team Deathmatch Arms Race or Arms Race Team Deathmatch where players get more points per each kill so everybody gets score streaks faster and easier and to be honest ha man I, this is a welcome addition because some of you might have watched the older video that i made where i said that team deathmatch was too slow because you only get 100 points per kill and 100 points per kill was too little and it made players rely on real real like real hardcore camping in order to get their score streaks so it just made team deathmatch way too slow and everybody way too campy and i think they realized that i think they realized that also team deathmatch the way it is it's hard for players that play a lot of it to level up as fast as players that play other playlists or other game modes such as domination or kill confirmed or even hardpoint well hardpoint mainly because hardpoint is the one where you get the most points at and it's the fastest way to level up in and well according to Treyarch, the playlist is like a limited time playlist so who knows how long it's gonna last i don't know how long it's gonna last but what i think they are doing is by saying that is a limited time playlist a bonus playlist i think they just want to try it out and see how it works first i'm guessing they're gonna do some sort of internal test to see if it is if it works the way that they expected it to work so i'm hoping that it does work and this actually gets to be the real team deathmatch over time but I think that maybe 150 points is too high because there's way too many score streaks now in Team Deathmatch. Or maybe it's like back how like Black Ops 2 was. Maybe I have forgot a little bit about how common score streaks were. Because, well, in Modern Warfare 3, they were extremely common. It was score streaks up the butt in that game. I just think that 150 points per kill is just a tad bit too high. I think the best balance would be 125, but what do I know? I'm not a creator of the game. I'm pretty sure the guys over there at Treyarch are doing internal tests so that they can find out the best balance. That At least that's what I think that is going on. And check this thing out right here. Oh my God, this is the biggest bull. Oh man. <sighs> I can't even. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. I was playing this. This is a game from yesterday. It's actually a fairly recent game, obviously, because playlist just came out. The new game mode just came out. But I was extremely frustrated at times yesterday. The reason being that players were still kind of playing Team Deathmatch as, as you know, how the old Team Deathmatch was. Well, the regular Team Deathmatch. They were still playing so campy. But then I guess as time went on during the day and players played it more and they see how much frequent, how easier it is to get score streaks, they weren't camping as much. So it started getting better and better. And then my level of frustration actually started going down. But nonetheless, every time that I get killed by a camper, I just scowl at the screen in complete disgust at what I'm seeing. Some players just... Man, some players just lay flat out on the ground. It's not even regular camping where you're head glitching behind. You know what I'm talking about, guys. You're head glitching behind the spot. And that's kind of like strategically placing yourself. I don't see that as much as camping. That's not what camping is to me. I'm talking about like the guy that goes into the corner and he'll just wait for somebody. He'll stay there for a minute and wait for somebody to get there. That's the type of camping I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm rambling about other stuff. The other stuff... And the, the other things in the update are minor fixes, minor bug fixes. There's so many that I'm, I'm not going to really get into the details, but there were a whole bunch of bugs, I guess. I didn't experience any of the bugs, to be honest. I didn't know they even, they even existed, but I don't know how Treyarch finds this thing out, but maybe they put something into... Because before, to show Treyarch something wrong, like something that was going on, you would have to show them a video of the glitch and i haven't really seen that many videos of glitches maybe they maybe there's something in the game that just tells them when something went wrong i have no idea i could i'm just shooting from the hip right now 
it's also really impressive and amazing what Treyarch is doing in trying to keep this game alive. They keep releasing updates, trying to make the game as best as they can. And I have to give credit to them because this game was a lot worse when it came out than what it is today. And I have to give a lot of the credit to Treyarch for actually sticking with the game and actually trying to make the game better and better and better and that's something that you don't see in a lot of companies in the game to be honest it is a lot better now than when it came out so i have to give it up to them it's impressive how gaming technology or better than that software technology has improved because i remember playing call of duty 3 and call of duty 4 and you couldn't companies couldn't really patch games that well back then i don't know i don't know if it was the inherent nature of the game itself that they built that rendered them pretty hard to patch but games now are made with patching in account so that they take into account that they may have to patch the game into the future so i think they make the game a lot more open in order for it to get patched and i think that's what we're seeing with all these updates in black ops 2 and it's only going to keep getting better in the future as time goes on Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, and if you guys want to help me out, just hit the like button and subscribe. Peace out, players.